Hey and welcome to today's Jazz Standard lesson. We're going to take a look at a John Coltrane minor blues song today called Mr. PC. Who is Mr. PC? Well, it refers to John Coltrane's bass player at the time, uh, Mr. Paul Chambers. This is an up-tempo minor blues and in this lesson you're going to learn the chords and how the chords are functioning. Now over to those chord changes. I'm going to put the chart up across the screen in just a second. These are the chord shapes that you need for Mr. PC. You can use others, these are just ones that are easy to start with and by all means use other voicings too. So we've got C minor 7, shape up on the screen there for you. F minor 7, the same shape, moved up to fret 8. And then we've got A flat 7 and G7. So four shapes, C minor 7 and F minor 7, both the same shape, just moved around. And A flat 7 and G7, both the same shape, moved around. Now, those are three note voicings, the minor 7 including root, minor 7th and 3rd, so no 5th. And the same with this G7, A flat 7, it's a root, flat 7 and 3rd. So no 5th in both of them, which is pretty common when playing jazz rhythm guitar to omit one note, certainly from four note chords. So here's the chart on the screen. So first thing to notice on that chart is we're in the key of C minor. We've got three flats, which is B flat, E flat, and A flat. Now the order of the chords are as follows. We've got four bars of C minor seven. Two bars of F minor seven. Two bars of C minor seven. Bar of A flat seven. Bar of G seven two bars of C minor. Now that is just the basic chords. You might hear variations, you might hear people going to the five chord at the end, but that is just your basic chords you want to get down first with the shapes that I've given you. So those are the chord changes to Mr. PC with my suggested shapes. You could use other shapes of your own if you wish, of course. Now let's move on to some harmonic analysis. We're going to look at the Roman numerals of the chords to this tune. So to understand what's going on harmonically, we need to know what chords are in the key we're in. So we're in the key of C minor, which is relative to E flat major if it makes it easier for you, but in the key of C minor we'd expect the following chord. C minor 7, D minor 7 flat 5, E flat major 7, F minor 7, G minor 7, but you'll probably find G7 in its place because it has a stronger resolution to C minor. A flat major 7, B flat 7, C minor 7. So let's number those chords up with Roman numerals. C minor is one. Of the chords that we've got, C minor is one, F minor is chord four, and G7 is chord five. So one, four, five. I mean, this is just a minor blues after all, and it's not really offering too many surprises in terms of its chords. Assign Roman numerals to each chord. So we have C minor seven is one minor seven. So that's your tonic chord, the home sounding chord where the progression wants to resolve to. Nice movement away to chord four as a minor seven. Back to one minor seven. Now this A flat seven is technically out of key if you think about what we just talked about in terms of chords in key. We expect A flat major seven in this key. So this is a secondary dominant. And we'd call it a flat six seven, which means it's the sixth chord, but it's been turned into a dominant seventh. And then we have five seven, so G seven, back to C minor. So this bit's like the turn around at the end. We just recap the chords. So we've got C minor, chord one, chord four, F minor seven, back to chord one, secondary dominant, A flat, five chord, G seven, back to C. That's our 12 bar circular form that you're gonna play over when you solo over those changes. But very important when you're learning any progression to think about the way it's moving harmonically, which chords pull you in different directions, and which chords sound stable, which sound tense, which sound out of key, which sound in key. I'm sure you can see during this lesson that Mr. PC, due to its simplicity in terms of chord changes, it's a great one for beginners or those new at jazz, uh, because it's not too difficult to solo over uh, because the chords aren't too dense and there's not too much going on harmonically. Now join me in my next video in which I will share how to solo over the chord changes to Mr. PC, what scales you could use and what arpeggios would work well to get you started with creating your own ideas over this tune. If you've enjoyed today's lesson then uh, why not hit that like button, leave me a comment or if you're not already a subscriber please consider subscribing, joining me every Wednesday and Saturday for jazz guitar lessons. Anyway I'll see you next time with how to solo over Mr. PC.